Okay guys, I told you I would show you it. Now, I don't feel like it's a completely finished product, but it's as finished as I'm gonna be able to do it for a while and I'll show you why. Couple things, I live here, so you're gonna see some things that are like not decorator. This is not a model home, this is my actual home. So I'll point those things out, but we're gonna do a little walk around. I'm gonna tell you all about the room, what I did, where things came from. And I'll do my best to put anything that I can in the description below. So if there's something you want, you can pick it up. All right, let's go. So let's start with the bed because I think it'll be the probably the most talking I need to do. So above the bed, you see we have these three wreaths. Now I always have three wreaths there, but they're not normally um, Christmas wreaths where these are kind of Christmassy. I think they'd be cute if I ran some lights in them, but to be honest, getting above this bed is already a chore. So we're leaving them just like that. You know what I'm saying? But those wreaths came from our store, maymaymadeit.com. Um, hopefully they're online. If they're not, we'll try to get them there. But these things, they are incredible. They're rich and thick and they're wired so you can shape them. So I have three of those up there. The garland laying on top of my bed, I've had for a long time, just lighted garland. Don't know where I got it from. The black and white beads, they're new this year. Found them at Walmart. You guys, seven bucks for that strand of beads. I was shocked. So I picked that up. The Christmas tree, the Buffalo Check Christmas tree beads, I got those from our store, memememadeit.com. And um, there's two strands there. I tied them together. They, I needed a little more length, so I tied them together to make them a little longer. And then these little ornaments, I have one that says Merry Christmas, one that says Hope in the middle, and one that says Believe on the end. Those are also from our store. This Merry and Bright, okay, here's the thing. If you don't know, my husband is an Alabama fan. I am not, but he is. And I thought he might really enjoy a little bit of Buffalo Check. And I know I'm really mixing the textures and the patterns. But I love that. If you know my crafting style, you know I'm that way. So Merry and Bright came from Walmart. And let's go over here to the side. I'm going to try not to make y'all dizzy. I'm going to do my best. So up here, I have a little bow with an ornament hanging on it. That bow is actually Walmart ribbon. Um, I thought if I could find some mattress ticking ribbon and then I turned around and there it was. I think it's perfect for the kind of farmhouse look. That little ornament is from our store. I need to tell you, my room is dark all the time. It is never bright. I cannot get light in here, which is the reason I didn't do like a as I'm going, I just couldn't get enough light. And you'll see that here. It's pretty dark. So if there's corners that are dark, I apologize. There's not much I can do about it. Okay. Then you'll see my bedside table. This lamp, I know you're going to ask about this. It's actually a lamp, by the way. Vince and my son Joe made these. They are just um, three pieces of wood that they put together. They're basically big shutters. And they actually go behind my nightstand. And that's why I call them lamps. Because I told them, I'm like, look, if we move, I want to be able to take them with me. So they made them freestanding, so they just lean behind my nightstand. And these lights came from Amazon. Oh my goodness, y'all, 30 bucks for those lights. They're incredible. You can see that we just ran the wire back. We could have drilled it and all that, but we just didn't take the time to do it. We just ran that wire back, and I love these lights. He did such a good job. They did. Joe and Vince did a great job. On my nightstand, I have two ceramic Christmas trees I got from Rustic Relics. I have a ball of greenery I got from Rustic Relics, and then I have a little Walmart snowman. Now he's got a light, but I don't have it. I don't have batteries in him. I'm the worst about keeping up with battery operated things, so he's just sitting there to be cute. And then on my bedside, I just picked this up this week. We were at Priestures Pecans, and I picked up this book, The Beautiful Word for Christmas, and it's really really neat. If you're looking for a cool devotional, it's a good one. I really like that one. Okay, let's go out here. This is my ladder. This ladder came from TJ Maxx. I love this ladder. Speaking of love, my love blanket. I have plans for this ladder. I'm going to make it a project that I want to bring to you guys in a video, so I'm not going to tell you now. That's why there's nothing really done to it. There's a sign hanging on it with a bow. That's it. I'll tell you more about that later. These wreaths. Okay, I bought these wreaths at Decorators Warehouse probably probably four years ago. They're incredible. They are rich and thick and gorgeous wreaths, but I don't really like them on the windows. They're kind of just placeholders. I think I'm going to get some smaller wreaths to put here. Um, I showed them to Shannon and we were both kind of like, nah, they're too, they're too heavy. And when you see me, when I back up, you'll see they're a little bit heavy, but they're just placeholders for now. I have taken my curtains down and not replaced them. That's actually in my regular room to redo. I don't know what I'm putting up here yet. So for now, we're just doing this. All right, let's go around here to this chest of drawers. This is my chest of drawers. Now, this ceramic Christmas tree is one that Vince bought me from Christmas Village probably, probably seven or eight years ago after the house fire. So, he bought me this tree. If you don't know, 
This is what my grandmother did for a living. She made ceramics and Christmas trees were one of the ones she did a lot of. And my grandfather made the molds that they poured the ceramics in. So that's what they did. So I like to have a little bit of that all over the house, ceramics everywhere I can. This little guy came from Rustic Relics. Look how cute he is. I found him there and I actually bought two of these, but I have to tell y'all, I can't find the second one anywhere. I have looked my house over and I don't know if maybe I left it, but Missy would have told me. I don't know, but I can't find the second one, but I'm gonna keep looking. Hopefully it'll surface. If you see it in one of my other tours, you know it surfaced. This picture, I gotta back up and show y'all. It's gorgeous, look at that. Rustic Relics, y'all know I love Rustic Relics. This picture, it looks incredible, but listen, it doesn't weigh anything. So if you're looking for something big like that, Look for something that doesn't weigh a lot and you can put it up just about anywhere. This guy is very light. I don't even have him hanging. I just have him leaned up and I just think he looks good up there. So you see the wreaths, they're too heavy. I know it, you know it, we all know it. Have you seen my romantic cows? <laughs> they're not romantic, I call these my bedroom cows. My friend Brenda Berry painted these and I cannot get enough of them. They are my favorite thing ever and they're in this corner. And this corner is a work in progress. I'll back up and show you. Now, don't judge my cords. I told y'all I live here. I want a velvet chair in this corner. Something like a blue velvet, maybe yellow, maybe mustard. I do not want red because in my normal life, this room does not have red in it. I've tried really hard because you know my colors are black, red, and white. I tried really hard not to do that in my bedroom. So in the bedroom, it's mostly black, white, and green, black, white, and white that's what i really go to but i'd like something in this corner so i've been looking for it forever and haven't found it now you see these cords i'll explain them in a second i think for christmas i may get myself three christmas trees little flocked trees to put here to hide those cords and just put something in that corner that's why i said it's kind of a work in progress but not really but that may happen all right let's talk about the cords let me show you my fireplace which is not really a fireplace yet okay so here's the deal I wanted something here. This used to have my tall chest of drawers under it. The TV always had my chest of drawer for years and years. And I told Vince I wanted a faux fireplace. So we started looking and we found this mantle at a place in Pelham, Alabama. Um, I don't remember the name of it. Oh, I think it's Consigning Interiors. I could be wrong, but it's something like that. And this mantle I got for a steal. You guys would not believe already painted. I didn't have to do anything. The only thing we had to do was it was a little bit tall and he cut three inches off the bottom so it would fit here, but it was an absolute steal. I could not have bought the wood for what we paid for this mantle. So we were really excited. And so Vince and I L bracketed it to the wall. That's all we did. So it's just four L brackets holding it to the wall. And then you recognize that Buffalo check wallpaper. It's from the shop. I did the same thing here. I'm going to link this below for you guys because this stuff is amazing. I'm going to link that for you. So that's the beginnings. Now, I have ordered from QVC. It's not here yet. These cords are going to go away. That one, I'm going to hide all this. But I've ordered from QVC a little um, heater that looks like a fireplace. I hope it's not too little. I try to get one that would kind of fill up that space. Um, and who's it made by? I don't remember who it's made. Oh, Duraflame, I think. Um, I'll link it in the description. So if you're looking for one, you'll see that one. I don't know anything about it. Hadn't got it yet, but it's due in a couple days. I think it's gonna be cool to put the heater in here and then have it look like a fireplace. I'll show you this again. I'll come back on Instagram and show you it finished. Okay, on the mantle, let's talk. So a green garland that's lighted I've had forever. Notice the little red picks. These are from our store. I think they're incredible. See how beautiful those picks are? And just so you know, I have 10 picks in this garland. I counted them so you could know, okay? The buffalo check trees are from our store. I did a lot of stuff. I didn't have to go anywhere. I just went to May May Made It for the most part. Um, the snowflakes are from our store. Those are our ornaments there. And they go all the way across. The beads are Walmart. I thought they were incredible. I could not leave them on the shelf. And these um, stockings are Walmart. They're mine and Vince's. I'm going to make our initials to hang on them. I just haven't done it yet. I think I'm gonna do that with chipboard and the Cricut and just cut them out and maybe make them look like weathered wood and hang off there. I think that'd be cute. So that is that. Let's do a quick pan around the room so I can look. There's Vince's hats and his fishing pole. <laughs> okay, it's real life, y'all. Okay, so over here on the dresser, I have just a little bit of stuff, not too much, and I'll tell you why. So this is Vince's dresser and he likes to put things, right? He'll, this will be covered. I will clean it. It'll be covered. I will clean it. But what I did for him was this little Ray Dunn Merry Christmas that we got at, 
TJ Maxx or Home Goods, one of the other, Shannon and I were shopping and she saw this lady had two of them in her buggy and she was looking for one so bad. She wanted to train and she asked her if she was going to get both of them or if she was deciding. And the lady said, you know what? I'm actually deciding if I want either of them. And Shannon said, well, if you don't, would you please let me know? So we were walking around the store and the lady comes up and says, you know what? I decided I don't want either of these. And so Shannon took one and I wasn't really looking for them, but I'm like, you know, it's really cute. So I'm going to get it. And now I'm glad I did because this is the perfect place for Vince to put his wallet, his keys, not his change. He has a change bucket. We try to put that in, but wallet, keys, anything that comes out of his pocket, pocket knives all go in there. So that's why it has no greenery in it. Otherwise, I would doll it up. Over here, you'll see the Merry Christmas sign, also from our store, the three trees from our store. I put three trees on both sides and the warm and cozy sign is from our store as well. Not that it's Christmas. That little sign is from Hobby Lobby about 100 years ago. Not 100, like, like eight or nine. I don't know. All right, Vince's side of the bed, he has a bow. He has a um, Christmas tree ornament from our store, the same lamp that he and Joe made. And then down here, you have to ignore his charger and his CPAP machine that lives there all the time. But this, isn't this cute? It's just a cake plate that I had already. Some white trees from our store. We have a lot of these little wooden trees and I love them. And then the green bottle brush trees, I found at Rustic Relic for a really good price. I, I bought a bunch of them from her. You'll see those around the rest of the house too. So that is his bedside table. Now let's talk about the bed pillows because I did not mention these. So the pillows, the Buffalo check pillows are my everyday pillows. We use those all the time. The fur pillow in the back is my everyday pillow. These four came from Amazon. I'll link them. I wish they were wider, but that happens on Amazon if you don't really pay attention to the reviews. But I gotta be honest, I like showed Vince, I showed Shannon, they're like, I would go with it. And I think I'm going with it too. My walls are cream. It kind of pulls out the, the color of the stain on the lamp. So, I mean, I'm good with that. You're gonna wanna know about that pillow in the middle. I love this pillow. <laughs> I found this at Lakeside, the Lakeside catalog, probably, probably four or five years ago. But I will tell you something, if you find a solid pillow, this is easy to do with your Cricut. That is nothing but a silhouette. Matter of fact, it's reversible and on the backside, it's the same thing, but it's a black Winnie dog on white where it's gold on black. And at Christmas, I always turn the gold side around just because I think it's cute. This blanket, Vinny got me this, y'all. And I'm gonna tell you the truth about it, okay? Do not rush out, I don't know. Rush out, I don't know, let me tell you. It's massive, it is a huge blanket. It is folded in half and laid across my king size bed right now. It's massive, and I think even Vince would tell you that it's nice and it's comfortable, but it's too hard to use and you certainly cannot wash it. But it's one of those called, um, let me see if it's got the name on it. I think it's called Big Blanket. You might have seen them on like Facebook or something, but he got me one and him one and we cannot, you can't really use them. They're too big. They're cool on my bed though. Works out really neat on the bed, so I like it there. Um, if you're wondering about my furniture, anytime I show these pictures, I get questions about my furniture. This is an Ashley set. Um, I've had it for, I think, almost two years now. Wait. No, I think I bought it during the pandemic, so not quite two years, but it's an Ashley set, and I don't know the name of it, but I do love this. This is a bench, and those open, and I have some storage at the foot of the bed. I love that. So, it's Ashley. You probably can look it up. If you really, really, I'll tell you what, I'll try to find it and link it below. Probably not like a shoppable link, but I should be able to tell you the name of it. All right, guys, I'm just going to stay here as I say goodbye. That is my Christmas room. By the way, remember my tip I share with you on Instagram? I did my room first. Why? Because I will always do my living room and my kitchen and my dining room. But when I'm done, I'm too tired to do my room. And I always want a Christmas room so I can watch Christmas movies in here. And, to and today I finished it. And now I'm going to be enjoying it for the rest of November and December. And I'll be watching Hallmark right there. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can see the rest of my home tour. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to start Sunday doing our um, living room, kitchen, dining room. That's probably all I'm going to do just for us to see every day, but I'll bring that to you as well. Thanks so much for being here, guys. Bye now.